Porks, today I will present you my Smart Bling project. This project is realized by me, Alban Brizzi, supervised by Professor James Hedwig, paid by Union Graduate College and supported by Verizon Wireless. The aim of this project was to create a drone for a really cheap price to take a picture from the sky wherever in a country. This project in figures is 10 weeks from the ID to the fi final presentation. $250, 80 emails, more than 10 people implied in the project, three different coding environment. The output is a new gondola for the blimp and three softwares. One for the computer, one for the phone and one for the Arduino chip. As you can see on this camera, I'm using the Verizon wireless to communicate with the phone into the blimp and the phone communicates by Bluetooth with an Arduino chip to control the different motors. On the right side you can see the blimp moving in the gymnasium. On the left side you can see the video recorded and transmitted to the computer thanks to the cell phone internet access. The video is transmitted by the open source service Bambuser. The latency is between 1 and 2 seconds. On this demo, I control the blimp thanks to the software I developed. On here, I'm using the mode 1, which is a direct mode. This mode permits the user to control the blimp with his keyboard, like in video game. You have 7 buttons in the direct mode. Forward, backward, left, right, stop, trim up, trim down. These commands are iterative. I mean, that you press once and the motors go to power 1. You press twice and the, motor, the power of the motor is doubled. If you control the blimp with your keyboard, the power is maximum, but when you release the button, the power is stopped. Two other modes were designed in order to make the blimp smart. The mode 2 is a direction time velocity mode. In this mode, you set a direction and you set how long you want the blimp to follow this direction and the velocity wanted. You can use FIFO or flush mode. FIFO is the first in first out. It can be used to set passage point or trajectory. The flush mode will execute the common directly whatever he received before. The third and the last mode is the GPS mode. This mode was really easy to create once the second mode was done. Indeed, this mode just gets the GPS value and calculates with the value demanded the direction the blimp has to follow. After that, it sends this direction following the mode 2 protocol. This calculation is done every 5 seconds. On the right side, you can see some elements I changed to make the blimp as light as I needed. I changed the Arduino board by an Arduino Mini. I changed my Motorola Droid by an HTC Harris, which is 1.5 Oz lighter. I cut the rudder as much as possible, and I used the lightest lithium batteries on the market. Thank you for having watched this presentation. Don't hesitate to come on my website if you have any question or want to work and improve this project. Thank you at Union Graduate College staff, thank you at Verizon Wireless staff and every people who helped me for this project. Have a good day.